In this video, we will learn how to share files and documents with other Google Drive users, as well as how to collaborate with others through Drive. If you haven't yet, make sure to watch our videos titled Welcome to Google and Getting Started with Google Drive. If you use the built-in apps such as Google Docs to create a document, you can share it with other users and even edit the document at the same time as others. You can see here any other users that are working on this sheet. All changes are saved immediately to Drive for all users working on any open document, spreadsheet, or slideshow. Through Drive, you can easily share a single document, sheet, or slideshow with a single user or a group of users and choose to allow them to edit or simply view the file. You can also share an entire folder with a user or group of users. Just right-click any folder in your Drive and choose Share. This is great for working on projects with a group of people who need to be able to view or edit multiple files. Here's a practical example for teachers. Teachers can set up shared folders for students to submit their work, whether it's a Microsoft Office file, Google Doc, or anything else. It is recommended that teachers set up a separate shared folder for each student in a class and only share access to the folder with that student so that students cannot see or alter the work of their classmates. You can also set up a shared folder so that other users, such as students, can view the contents of the folder but not edit or delete it. This is a great way for teachers to assign work to students or for administrators to distribute announcements or other information and data to people such as building staff or board members. What happens if you make a mistake while working on a shared document? This is where revision history comes in handy. In any doc, sheet, or slideshow, go to File, See Revision History. This will bring up a sidebar with every previous version of this file. You can view and choose to restore any previous version of that file. Highlighted areas will show you who has made edits to what parts of the doc, sheet, or slideshow. It looks like this is the version of the sheet I want to restore. I'll just click Restore This Version, and the sheet will revert back to the previously saved version. What if you want to share something with a large group of people? If you have a group of contacts in your address book that you would like to share a file or folder with, the easiest way is to make that file or folder available to anyone who has the link. Just right-click on the item, click Share, and then click Get Shareable Link. This will copy the link to your clipboard and make the file available to anyone in the district who has the link. Just like with normal sharing, you can set the file so that others are allowed to edit or simply view it. Now all you have to do is open your email and send the link to whatever group of contacts you would like to share the item with. As you can see, there are a variety of options for sharing and collaborating with others. If you would like to learn more about sharing, you can always visit the Help Center in Google Drive. Just click the gear icon and select Help. 